Port Channel 2 correspondent David Goldstein has showed the unusual and sometimes radical methods used to help kids kick the habit. The program is called Kids. And tonight in the final part of his report, David tells us how the state of New Jersey really has very little to say about what goes on in this program. David? that claims 28 of 30 graduates are free of drugs after undergoing treatments like these caught by Channel 2's hidden camera. A program that says to a parent, give us total control of your child and we have the cure. A cure for drugs, alcohol, or behavior disorders. But since it began nearly three years ago, patients of the clinic called Kids of Bergen County have fanned the flames of controversy. People are either intensely angry with it or they are, in, they are intensely uh, happy with it. You know, this program saved my kid's life. This program ruined my kid's life. And there isn't any middle ground. And when you get that kind of situation, you know, there's something very strange about that. Strange is what former patients Kevin and Sean Brogan termed the program. They both spent more than six months at kids for treatment of a drug problem. What you see here tonight, what you hear here tonight, what you see here tonight remains here confidentially with you. It's a program that includes separation from the family in the early stages of treatment, plus strict supervision. Children are cut off from the outside world, forced to cope with life inside kids. I definitely believe that that place, you know, brainwashes people. Their bottom line is if you don't graduate that place, you know, go through all the phases and up through staff, then you're going to go out, get high, and die. That's it, and it's not the way it works. And then there is the question of education. Most of the patients here in kids are school-age children, and state law says everyone 16 or under must receive at least five hours of schooling a week. But many of the former patients we spoke to said they never saw a teacher. And some are now paying the price. I sat there, you know, I, I wasted a lot of time. Like, I'm supposed to be a junior now, and I'm going to start freshman half, half the year, half th halfway through the year. A lot of people, it's a lot of waste of time. I mean, you don't learn anything. You sit in a building. One young person that I uh, have coming here now uh, was, uh, uh, he's in ninth grade. Uh, he should be a senior. Uh, and so what happens is they're uh, starved uh, educationally, academically. So the question is, why aren't New Jersey officials taking a stronger hand in regulating kids? Everyone admits that clinical director Dr. Miller Newton, who refused to participate in our story, is sincere, and the program may work for some children. But the problem is, there is no New Jersey law to regulate kids and other outpatient clinics. County officials in Bergen are aware of the program, and they say it falls through the cracks. There is a crack in the state law that um, these types of programs or any outpatient program does not have to be licensed as long as there is no prescription of um, a medication. Um, and so there's a big crack in the whole thing. But despite that, there are some families who are happy with the clinic. Since our series began earlier in the week, we received some phone calls from some of those people who defended the tough actions at kids. Erica Bellin spent a year at Kids to kick her drug habit. She's now back with her family and works as a counselor at the program. I had nothing. I hated myself so much. I really hated the person I was for all the things I did. I had no self-worth at all. And now I have so much pride. I've been back to school. I've got A's. I'm on staff. I have a whole bunch of kids who I love. The Kids program saved my daughter's life, and it brought my family, which was torn apart, it brought them together again. We were able to communicate. We're able to resolve problems now that we couldn't, that goes beyond the drug situation. So as you can see, there are families who are happy with the kids' program. But for the last six months, the Bergen County prosecutor has been looking into kids. So far, no legal action is planned. But in the next few weeks, Prosecutor Larry McClure will hand down some recommendations to both the clinic and to the state. Those recommendations designed to put some kind of controls on kids and other outpatient clinics in New Jersey. Mike? So if you have a child who has a drug or alcohol problem and you want to put him into some sort of uh, treatment program, how do you have any confidence? Who do you, can you talk to a doctor or to an agency or something? The best thing is your family physician. It is a tough situation now. More and more of these clinics are cropping up both in New Jersey, Connecticut, and in New York. All three states do have narcotics abuse agencies in the states that you can call up. They can provide you with names or booklets of different uh, facilities that you can go to. Probably the best thing is your local physician. Okay, David, thank you. Mm -hmm. Carol?